Hey everyone, this is George. So when you think of Magic the Gathering, I'm guessing you probably think of the enormously popular card game, but pretty soon you might be thinking about comic books too. Coming April 7th, 2021, Boom Studios is bringing Magic the Gathering back to comics. So here's the official plot synopsis. Across the multiverse, those gifted with a spark can tap into the power of magic and travel across realms. They are planeswalkers. When coordinated assassination attempts on guildmasters Ralzarek, Vraska, and Kaya rock the city of Ravnica and leave Jace Bellerin's life hanging in the balance, a fuse is lit that threatens not just these three guilds, but the entire plane of Ravnica. Now these three must covertly infiltrate the wild plane of Zendikar and form a tenuous alliance to uncover why the targets of the assassins have all been planeswalkers, which will lead them straight to one of the most enigmatic characters in magic history. So I'll be honest, I have no idea about just about everything in that paragraph, but thankfully they gave me a brief explanation of what planeswalkers are, so I know that now, but... I'll be the first to say I've never played the card game. I have a bunch of magic cards because I love the artwork, but I know nothing about the lore and mythology, and I'm hoping Boom's Magic the Gathering comics can be the bridge for people like myself to get into the rich lore and mythology of this massive franchise while also being engaging and must-read material for people who already know and love MTG. One of the reasons I'm so optimistic about this new Boom series is because of the publisher's track record with licensed properties like Big Trouble in Little China and Power Rangers. They've knocked it out of the park with their Power Rangers comics by managing to show respect to the past show's history while forging a new and exciting path into the future with characters like Lord Draken. It's brought tons of non-comic book fans into comics and I would honestly credit it with a lot of the recent buzz that along with the immense fandom and love of the franchise has led to another upcoming feature film being greenlit. I've also read their Big Trouble in Little China series and I'd love that too. I felt it had all of the charm and humor that I loved about the film while telling a new and exciting story too. I think Boom is going to make sure a lot of care goes into this series and I hope they're able to make this series a perfect jumping on point for newcomers to MTG like myself while also giving established fans of the card game new and exciting stories in the universe they know and love. From just seeing the preview pages and covers, this book looks like it's going to be beautifully illustrated and colored. There was also an Ashcan book released back in March 12th, so if you can track one down, I'm sure it'll be one for the collectors out there. The first full issue hit shelves April 7th, 2021, and it's from writer Jed McKay, illustrator Ig Guadra, colorist Adiana Consoni, and letterer Ed Dukeshire, and it has numerous covers. There's a cover A by Matteo Scaletta. There's the three blind bag cover Bs, which are Hidden Planeswalkers covers. There's the Soren variant, illustrated by Magdalena Pagowska. There's a Kaya variant, illustrated by Taj Tinfold, and a Liliana variant by Miguel Mercado. And these books are going to come in black bags, so you'll get one of the three covers within each black bag. And the main cover and these will have a $4.99 cover price. There's also the cover C blank sketch variant, which will also have a $4.99 cover price. And then the other covers are different because they're ratio variants. I'm not sure exactly how much those are going to cost. But the other covers are going to have different price. There's the cover D variant, which is by Iguara, which is, I believe, a 1 in 25 character variant. There's the cover E variant by Jujin Yoon, and I believe that's the 1 in 50 variant. And there's a cover F, which is by Jujin Yoon again, and that's a variant cover. I believe it's 1 in 100. There's a cover G variant by In Hyuk Lee, and that is a 1 in 200 variant. There's a cover H variant that's a Matteo Scaletta black and white unlockable variant. And then finally, there's the Magic Pack exclusive by Mirka and Dolfo. I actually really like the Planeswalkers covers the most, but I think these all look pretty nice. So let me know what you all think. Fans of the card game, how does this book look to you all? Will you give the book a chance? And non-Magic players, will this book be on your pull list? Let me know in the comments. That's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.